वेलकम टू जी एस एम सिस्टम आर्किटेक्चर पार्ट टू जी एस एम इज अ पब्लिक लैन मोबाइल नेटवर्क वेर सेवल प्रोवाइडर सेट अप मोबाइल नेटवर्क फॉर एन जी एस एम स्टैंडर्ड विद इन एवरी कंट्री सेट ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स अवेलेबल आर मोबाइल स्टेशन बेस स्टेशन मोबाइल स्विचिंग सेंटर एंड लोकल रजिस्टर वेर विल बी हैविंग थ्री सब सिस्टम रेडियो सब सिस्टम नेटवर्क एंड स्विचिंग सब सिस्टम एंड द ऑपरेशन सब सिस्टम when we look into the picture uh, we find the three subsystems rss nss and oss where rss comprises the uh, bss where each bss will have various hexagonal cells available and each cell will have a bts controlling the total cell and the bts will be controlling the mobile station in that hexagonal cell communication between bts and ms takes place by the um interface and all these bts are controlled by the bsc there may be several number of bscs available and they communicate with each other through the msc so this forms the network sub system in the network sub system we have various mscs and these mscs control different bscs one msc can be in charge of more than one number of bscs and the network sub system has got the vlr hlr where vlr stands for uh, visitor location register and hla stands for the home location register and in uh, home location register the basic data of the user of the mobile station will be uh, saved and when the user moves from one cell to a different cell the visitor location register gets updated and finally we've got the operation sub system which helps in managing the total network this information from one network to other network is uh, done through a gateway msc which is going to communicate to isdn and psdn so this is the communication gateway to this network to other network so looking into the uh, various sub systems available the radio sub system where the bts communicates with the mobile station and each bts communicate through bsc to the msc which is present in the network switching sub system and finally to the fixed partner networks it can it could be isdn or psdn so as already discussed the various components are the mobile station and bss bss stands for basic station sub system so bss comprises of bsc and bts where bc bsc as we know is the base station controller which controls the various bts available through various interfaces and we see the bts communicates with M- ms the mobile unit through the radio interface u and we have a standard interface a bis through which bts communicates with the uh, bsc so it is a open interface with uh, with the channel 64 kilobits per second user channel available and this is about the radio sub system which we saw in the earlier picture so each bss contains both bts and bsc so bss contains both bts and bsc so bss is a combination of bsc and bts and the interconnection that is available and we have the mobile stations which are the end users this is an example of the gsm coverage done globally 
the functions of pts and bc can be uh, got from this table and this picture says uh, the usage of the gm gsm services so we have got the mobile terminal available and the terminal adapter terminal equipment and sum stands for the subscriber identity module the mobile terminal it offers a common functions used by all the mobile system and it communicates with the uh, u radio interface and we've got a terminal adapter and the radio specific characteristics all are going to be uh, hidden inside this then we got the terminal equipment which is a div peripheral device of the ms and it offers various services to the user uh, there'll be no gsm specific functions here next going into the network and switching subsystem so the network subsystem contains msc so this msc communicates with isdn and psdn with the help of some inter working functions that are available inside so ISDN stands for integrated services register network pst in the public switch telephone network and again we have got pspdn cspdn stands for packet switched public data net and circuit switched public data net various databases available are hlr vlr and ear so vlr stands for visitor location register hlr home location register ER stands for equipment identity register and we know the base data is present in HLR that is home location register and when a mobile moves from one location to another location the data is updated in the visitor location register and the details about the mobile the equipment is stored in the equipment identity register which helps in identifying the uh, mobile the system the unit the network and switching subsystem is one of the main component of the total gsm which takes care of switching functions mobility management interconnection to other networks and the system control so the various components are msc and all the databases available these are some of the functions of the mobile services switching center so msc has various functions like switching functions and functions for mobility support managing resources and interworking functions integration of the various databases that we have discussed hlr vlr ear and the functions of msc could be given as paging call forwarding and the ss7 the signaling system number 7 that, that termination of that mobility specific signal location registration and other new services like fax sms generation and forwarding of information all these are some of the functions of msc so going to the operation subsystem it has got certain functions like centralized operation management and maintenance of all gsm systems the components include authentication center equipment identity register operation and maintenance center so we have seen the function of equipment identity register the authentication center helps in authenticating and identifying the user and the operation maintenance center controls all the capabilities of the radio subsystem and the network subsystem in addition we have got various learning extension resources which will give you in-depth knowledge or additional information of what we have discussed now it will help you know how to design a gsm and we can have additional references through johan schiller's mobile communication and other youtube videos which could help in giving a another picture of what is gsm